Hello everyone, it is uh, Rob the Replicator here with part two of how much does it actually take to make a comic. So we're looking at, at the the other side of it, I guess, the actual non-making of the comic, but the, the rest, the prints, the uh, printing, the shipping, packaging, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. Uh, so one thing like you have to be really careful of is stretch goals. I've run into this before myself. I think Clint has said he's run into it before as well. You want to give backers everything. You want you want to give them the world because you're so happy, you're so elated that people are back in your book. Uh, you're, you're getting money that you just you want to you want to share it. Um, you get caught up in it, but you got to be really careful because these things add up so quickly. And all that money you, you've make you're making can disappear just as quickly. So, uh, prints, for example, right? Um, let's see if you can see that here. I've got three different prints here. Uh, I'm doing eight prints for my Replicator Three campaign for free, which is absolutely insane. Uh, let me go full screen for a second. Um, so you just got to be really careful about the cost of these things, right? So. This black and white print is probably about 20 to 50 cents to actually print, right? So pretty good, pretty cheap. This print here is probably about a dollar. Right, and then and then you have like the the a5 which is half i actually think i like these better than the a4 so the a4 is the big one i think i like the a5 the mini print a bit better um so yeah you just have to be really careful about that right so we'll, we'll talk like in we'll talk as if you've got a thousand backers which you know most people won't have i don't have it either but it just gives a, a good a good number to go off so if you've got a thousand backers and you're paying a dollar per print that's one thousand dollars gone right it's just gone um uh, if you're paying 25 to 50 cents for black and white, it's 250 to 500. It's a massive difference. It's the same thing with the mini prints. You can get two of these for a dollar, for example. So you just need to be really careful about how what, what you're giving away uh, and how much it's going to cost you. So you need to price these things out before you go, before you launch. So you need to, I would, I would price them off like a hundred, 500 and a thousand. Therefore you've got an idea of how much it's going to cost uh, you to do. It's the same with all these things, stickers, uh, trading cards, trading cards are probably cheaper um, than prints. I haven't done them myself. Uh, I, I want to, they'll probably be coming up next. I would say trading cards. Uh, when people do ash cans, this blows me away because I, I can't, I can't imagine how much that actually costs to make, right? So if you're doing like a 12-page ash can and you're chucking that in and you're not the artist, like how much are you paying for that? A hundred, two hundred dollars a page, like twelve hundred to twenty-four hundred dollars. That's that's crazy to me. So be really careful about these things. Figure out what you want to do. Price it out, um, because as I said, man, I, I've got caught and that that. Sixty thousand dollars I showed you the other day that that can get that can get you know it can evaporate very quickly. So you just need to be really careful about this because you you want to you want to make money, um, so you can make more comics. I mean that's the ultimate goal, right? So that can that can by giving away like I'm giving away eight prints here, right? I mean, it's not going to cost me the the world, but it's it's going to make an it's going to make an impact, right? So all those prints for free just by backing. So just be really careful about that. Um, that is the first point. Okay, so uh, printing, uh, printing isn't as bad as people make it out to be. I think uh, it's it's not the the highest cost you're going to face. The highest cost is going to come in shipping. Um, what I would recommend is using the, the quote planner or I don't know what, what you'd even call it, just the quote system from Print Ninja and Mixum to give you an idea of how much it's going to cost to print your book. 
uh, and then again, hundred copies, five hundred copies, a thousand copies, because uh, you're going to see you're going to see cheaper rates at higher volumes. It's the same with with all these things, right? So do that. I wouldn't recommend any of these printers, by the way. Uh, I, I'm not familiar with Print Ninja's work. I've heard horror stories from Mixum, so uh, I mean, and Mixum have done great work as well. So it's just I I would probably recommend a, a smaller local printer um my replicated uh books have some of the best print quality uh, going around uh people have told me that michael has has found a new printer which he thinks is even better than that and that's local bear in mind we're in australia it's not going to apply to you but the same sort of uh, thing can be um, used you can you can find someone local Local ish for you. Ask other creators too, right? Ask other creators who they who they print with, who they would recommend. Um, okay, marketing. So this is this is this is one that people don't really do much. Okay, so I know people on uh, creators on Facebook that use Kickstarter. Now spend like three thousand dollars on Facebook ads for their campaign. We don't really do it over this side of the woods. Um, I, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying we're probably not knowledgeable enough to to do it. Uh, I think if you know what you're doing, it could be really valuable. I know Aerith Saga and Adam Lawson do it, um, and they have they have pretty good success. So you need to you need to factor this in. Do you have a marketing budget? How much is that going to be? Uh, are you going to super chat? Are you going to spend five dollars to say something on Ethan Van Skyver's channel where thousands of people watch him. Uh, is that going to give you good return for your money? It may, it may not. Uh, so you just need to have that all, all figured out before you go. Um, then it comes to shipping. So shipping is an, an impossible thing to quantify because I'm in Australia, you, you're in US or wherever else it is in the world. One thing I like to do with shipping is I like to chuck like 20 or 30% of this just away. Like just, I know that that's gone, right? So uh, I'll have like $20,000 uh, just bookmarked for shipping, right? And that way, you know you're safe. And that's the main thing. Like you, you're trying to get your books out to, to backers, uh, you see a number like 60 grand and you think, oh, damn, i got 60 grand. That's incredible. But you, you don't really. You've got uh, whatever they paid plus whatever they paid for shipping and it adds up to 60 grand. So that's just something you need to be really careful about um, because when you get your shipping bill, uh, I know I know Mike has got his recently. It It's confronting. Let's put it that way. It's it's confronting how how large it is. Um, so yeah, just be really careful with shipping, uh, and also make sure you get your shipping rights, your shipping prices right. Um, because you may think, uh, like for example, right. If I might, I might think I'll, I'll ship to the United Kingdom and that might cost me $15, for example. Right. And you figure, well, United Kingdom's part of Europe. All the other countries in Europe should be about the same. It's not the case. It's not even close. Some of them are really expensive. So it's really hard, but uh, you probably need to break down what the individual countries are going to cost you. So you're looking, let me just run it off quickly. Australia, Canada, UK, uh, and then you're looking at like uh, France, Sweden, um, um, United States obviously is number one, but, and just like a lot of those individual countries in, in, in Eastern Europe actually back books. So you just need to be really careful about that. Okay. Packaging uh, is another one which can, can sting you really quickly. Uh, so the minimum stuff you need, you need, you need a mailer, you need bags and boards, you need tape and you need labels, right? I'm, I'm sure there's other stuff I'm, I'm forgetting. Uh but how much are you going to charge for all this? How much is all this going to cost you? Re again, really hard to say because I'm in Australia. We pay premium for stuff like this. But uh, I've spoken to fewer people 
I think you're probably looking anywhere between one US dollar to three US dollars for for uh, like one of all of these combined for one person. So a mailer might run you a dollar, bags and boards might run you a dollar. Um, and then the labels, I mean, unless you have a, a machine like I've, I bought in the background, uh, which you can't actually see, it's over there, it's a Dymo machine. Um, you're going to have to pay for the actual label and then print them from your printer. How much is that going to cost you? Uh, what is the printer ink going to cost you? Uh, what is tape going to cost you? Uh, I went through like 15 rolls plus of tape um, doing the last campaign. So you you need to price these things out. And if you buy like a machine, like I've got a Dymo like that, how much is that going to cost you to set up for the first time? It's, it's, it's significant. Uh, multiple hundreds of dollars type money. Uh, so th that is something you really need to, to price out. So figure out uh, how much it's going to cost you to get a thousand Gemini mailers or a hundred or 500, just like we did before. Same with bags and boards, same with tape, same with labels uh, and figure all that out. Well, one quick thing I wanted to mention here is um, Shelby Robertson uses pirate ship from the USA and apparently the rates are really good. So that if you're from the US, I would recommend having a look at that. Uh, and then fees. Okay. So again, we, we look at this sensational $60,000 uh, amount here. Indiegogo take 5% of that. So that's just gone, right? 5% is just, it's gone. So what's that? Uh, I'm not going to do maths live on an air. But uh, three thousand dollars is just is just it's just gone into the ether. Um, one other note is they they charge all international bank accounts a twenty five dollar fee when they deposit money in, right? And for some reason, they deposit money every now and then. Like it's not like hey, hey Rob, here's your sixty grand, uh, enjoy. It's hey Rob, here's here's your twenty grand. Here's your 10 grand, here's your five grand, here's your three grand, here's your whatever grand, right? And they take $25 each time. Might not seem like a lot, but it's it's one of those fees that you just have to eat. Uh, and, you know, $25 a time, if it happens, happens 10 times, so it's $250. Uh, I mean, it, and that's just like, that's just money thrown away, right? So that's, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope that was helpful. I'll put a link down below to how to crowdfund comics document. It's like 3,800 words, uh, 19 pages. It's all free. I'll put it down there. Uh, and yeah, please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and share the video. We're, the videos are doing really well. Uh, I'd like to get more people and more subscribers. Uh, and if it's helpful for you, uh, back Replicator 3. I mean, I really appreciate it. We're making amazing progress uh, on the book. You can get all three issues for, I mean, 62 Australian, which is 45 US dollars. It's 88 pages. Uh, I mean, the artwork's fantastic. Violence, uh, action for days. I mean, look at all this action. Uh, great art, great story. Uh, and yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning into these watch uh, the videos and watching them and commenting. So many people are commenting. I appreciate that. Um, that's it. Have a good one. Uh, if on, oh, if there's anything I've missed, do you want me to go into more detail on? Please let me know. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye.